After updating the NMAX 155 in Indonesia, Yamaha has updated the NMAX in China too. The scooter also gets gas-charged dual shock absorbers instead of the standard unit which should improve the ride quality. The shock absorbers are now manually adjustable for preload as well. Welcome to Motoscope. The 2022 Yamaha NMAX 155 has been introduced in China. Yamaha's popular Maxi scooter gets a selection of new features intended to improve the riding experience. While there are no cosmetic changes to report on, the new NMAX does get a new traction control system, TCS. It's the same TCS found on the new Yamaha R15 V4. Of course, the local spec NMAX is already equipped with traction control. The system works through sensors that can detect traction loss in the rear tire, providing the rider with stability when riding on slippery roads or during high-speed cornering. TCS works with the Electronic Control Unit ECU, to mitigate rear-wheel slip. On motorcycles with traction control, riders can have more confidence riding over slippery surfaces and through sharp corners. It can also help riders retain control of the bike in situations that could otherwise result in an accident. More than that, the 2022 NMAX also gets a suspension upgrade in the form of a gas-charged rear suspension with preload adjustability. Gas-charged shocks can control tire motion better than spring-based dual shock absorbers, reducing ride vibration and improving overall ride quality. This feature is not yet available in the Philippines, where the local units make do with conventional shock absorbers. Those are the only significant updates for the new Yamaha and Max. The Maxi scooter continues to be powered by a 155 cubic centimeters liquid-cooled, four-stroke blue core engine with variable valve actuation (VVA). It's the same motor powering the Mio Aerox 155, and it delivers about 15 horsepower and 14 newton meters of torque. The engine pairs with a continuously variable transmission CVT, for convenient twist and go riding. The current spec Yamaha NMAX is still available in the Philippines. Starting at 119,900 pesos, you get features like LED lighting, a fully digital instrument panel, an electric power socket, a smart key system, and a stop-start system. Are you planning to buy this motorcycle unit? Let me know in the comment box below. Also don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.